Hello everyone, it's Dave and Lee. Hey guys. So we are back again. Um, so, yay, we're actually getting more on a regular schedule now. Yay! I'm happy. Lee's happy. I'm happy. Everyone's happy. Um, so anyway, why don't we start off with an update with what we've been working on. Um, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? Uh, I can go first, because I just finished embroidering uh, ornament number, let's call it eight. Ooh. So you guys can see the details. It's sparkly and fun and everything I want out of Christmas of 2017 and not 2018 ornaments. <laughs> that's coming. And that's where we're at, so finish that. That's good. Second progress pick is... Sock number one. Ooh. It's best friend sock number two. How much more do you have Done for that? In time. All I have to do is weave in the ends and block, and then my fiance's pair of socks. Very nice. You've got. You've come to everyone's favorite part of actually knitting is finishing the project. Yay! Yes, I have come to finishing. I have upcoming project plans, but tell me about your week in review. Um, the main thing I've been working on is just the blanket that I, that's been going on. So it's actually like m looking more like a blanket now. So I love it. Yeah, I'm probably gonna use this pattern for more other projects. Um, just because I like the pattern, I kind of went looking for this kind of zigzag pattern because I've done it in the past. So. Um, but of course I have no idea where those patterns went to, so I just had to find it again and this is kind of like my test blanket to make sure I like it for other projects. Makes sense. I went through all my yarn book stash this weekend to find where all my patterns were and magically I had infinitely more patterns than I thought I did. So Yeah, slowly but <laughs> sorry. Slowly but surely I am building up my pattern. I'm Although I am happy that I only I only have a couple pattern books, and m most everything else is online, or on my computer. Decluttering, I am in a similar boat. Yeah, so like I am, I feel like that's good for my physical space because I feel like it will take over. I mean, the yarn has already kind of taken over, so... Yeah, a new one creeps into your background each video I see, which I kind of like. Yeah, like, it was actually very nice. I'm, actually, that's another thing that I kind of did this past week is, speaking of decluttering, I actually kind of finished unpacking. So, Yay. like, yeah, I was actually very happy because all the bins I had were different sizes. I think I had, like, two lids. I don't think they fit anything, so I actually went to, like, Walmart and got like new bins and went through everything and took out stuff I wanted to take out and I actually have a little bit more space in my room because it's all neat and organized now so I was very happy and I took out all the rest of the the yarn I had from moving so I didn't buy any yeah. more more. We did the same thing. Uh, we put all the stuff away in uh, our cabinets and we officially when we lived in New Jersey had over 16 cubbies of books and we are down combined to four cubbies total wow i'm imp that's good that's good decluttering so i'm very that's good i mean it's always good to every now and then just kind of declutter and see what you need and what you don't yeah next week will be yarn but i didn't want to tackle it this week that's fair um i feel like that's a project that you just need to focus on all uh, on its own so yes so but anywho that's good <laughs> that's important too but anyway um what else uh what else have you been working on or thinking about working on coming up and set for future projects so as i decluttered in order to get those four cubbies i got rid of my fiber storage cubbies so all my fiber is sitting on the ground, and I looked at it, and so much of it is so lovely. They have this wonderful fiber that can't really translate well on screen, but I'm going to take a photo of it. It's from Hobble Depot. Yes. It's a great vendor. 
And I just kind of want to spin through my stash and take, you know, a before photo and put it on Instagram, a during and after, and just see where the journey takes me. Excellent. And speaking of Instagram, if people want to follow you, where they, what is your handle? Knit it and quit it. Which I love. <laughs> but yes. It is a fun one. But yeah, so I will, over the course of the fall and winter, be spending my evening free time spinning. I'm going to go for, you know, goal of 30 minutes to an hour a day and just see what happens and what to do with my 20 bats of fiber. Ooh. Very nice. Now, have you put a limit on, like, you can't buy anything new until you use it all up, or...? Yes, with the exception of I will buy no more than two bats of fiber at Rhinebeck because I'm only bringing a carry-on and I don't want to squish things up. That's fair. That's good. Like that I, will be my fiber. I feel like that's a good plan. I've kind of stopped buying yarn unless it's for a specific project. Good, me too. I've been on a no-buy since March, and I just like didn't notice that I didn't have any more because I keep on working my stash down. Yeah, like I just started this, but I think I need to just stop for a little while so that way I can use up some yarn. Do it. Yeah. So, but speaking of new projects, um, I went into last week a little bit about how I'm going to make a new pattern for a podcast that I listen to. I had, How'd it go? And I'll, it's going, I got the yarn. That, that was my first step. So, like, I actually. I went to Michael's, uh, and I ended on with Karen, Simply Soft. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Is it like a gray? Yeah, it's gray. Uh, it's going to be gray and black. Uh, gray was just the first one that I picked up, so. But yeah, like I have gray and black. It's a medium weight yarn, so I think it'll be good to um, weight in terms of the scarf that I'm going to do. So probably this week. I'm actually going to sit down and make the pattern, um, or do the first part of it. Um, I use, for me, pattern making starts in Excel, weirdly enough, um, just because I'm very visual, so like I have to actually like design it and do it, and then I start knitting, and then I write it out. Let your geek flag fly, I love Excel. Yeah, uh, and like I know, I know there are other... I feel like there's other programs out there that are specifically for, like, yarn design, but I haven't really tried it. Um, I just did Excel for my previous patterns, and I really liked it, and how I think and how I work. So, um, I am just continuing to use that for the time being. Yeah, go with what you know. Yeah. I mean, you already have computers, so you might as well use it. Exactly. Exactly. So it's gonna it's gonna do well. Um, I'm probably gonna make a video about it um, and probably go into it more this week or next week in terms of step like my first step of making and doing it. So um, yeah, but I'm excited. It's I part of the reason why I wanted to do this was just because I wanted to challenge myself again. Because usually when I'm knitting, I get into kind of stuff I already know and. I don't do anything special, I don't learn anything, it's just like, oh, let me just do the same thing. So, so you have a pattern and I have a fiber journey. Yeah. I mean, I'll, we'll see what else, if I really enjoy the, like enjoy pa making patterns again, what else I'll go into, because I'm sure I'm going to find something else to just make a pattern of, just to do. So, do it. Yeah, so I'm going to... That's my journey. I think it will be a lot of fun. And hopefully next week I have gone farther on my journey of making these ornaments. And you, you're you getting there. Like, every week it seems to be, like, at least a little bit more. Yeah, I'm just excited to have all of the ramekins of beads and needles and notions off of my coffee table. <laughs> That's fair. That's good motivation. It's just like, let me get this done so it's... So it's gone. Yeah. So that's good. And I, I'm excited to see... I want, like, an end picture of all the ornaments once you finish them, okay? Oh, an epic end. It, w it will be a journey worth slogging through. I'm excited for it, you know? 
Order by ornament by ornament, day by day. Yes. A day in the life of my ornaments. I'm looking forward to it, so. I am, and I'm looking forward to seeing your pattern progress. Yep, I'll definitely have more done for next week. Maybe I'll even have like a little bit of the actual physical scarf done. Um, so that way I can actually show you of what I'm doing. I can't wait. I'm ready. Excellent. So I think that's going to wrap it up for this week, and we will see you guys next week. Bye, friends. Bye.